Haribo, and welcome to the 15th lesson of basic Madonna instruction. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about uh, the variations of Kaherva. Kaherva is a basic 8-bit rhythm uh, that we have been studying for a while. It's one of the very first ones we learned. Actually, the very first one was Ta Ke Ta Ge Ge. And that is Kaherva. It's, it's in that family. And so this family of beats is eight, is eight beats long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, there are many variations that we've already learned, such as All right, we've learned all these variations. Now, in this family of mantras, this Kaherva family, there are infinite variations. Uh, there are at least hundreds that I've played in the past, and there, you can improvise many if you if you actually know the family very well. Today I'm going to teach you two new variations that I often like to play, and uh, they'll g give you a little bit of variety when you're playing in a kirtan. Again, Kaherva is so versatile that it's usable in practically any bhajan, any kirtan that has uh, uh, a meter of four beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Anything that's four beats is usually compatible with playing Kaherva. And again, most of these Kaherva beats can be doubled up, uh, doubled up in speed to play in double time, and they sound very fast. So we're going to start with the first mantra, the first new variation, which is Dha Geti Ka Ti Ka Dina. Again, pay attention to how, I, how I'm saying it. This is being said in rhythm. Da geti ka ti ka dina. Da geti ka ti ka dina. Okay, let's just go through the strokes. Each stroke, first one is da, which is both to open together. Da, and then ge, ti. Ti is your normal closed hit. Ti, and then ka is ke and ta together. Ke. Ka. Da, ge, ti, ka. And then again, ti, ka. Ti, ka. And then ti is this, this uh, ge and ti together. Ti, ka. Na is the same as ta. So here the rhythm is da, ge, ti, ka, ti, ka, di, na. Now notice, after the first da, the, the first da is extended. So it's da, ge, ti, ka. All right, because the first da is extended, we have to shorten up the next beat to still fit it within the cycle of eight. So da geti ka. So geti ka is is uh, played in rapid succession. Geti ka. All right, da geti ka. And it's nice when you have this uh, this delayed da. When you have this delay, it gives it a nice swing feel. So that's why we're doing that. The first half of it again is da geti ka. Da geti ka. Okay? Da geti ka. Then the second half is simple straight beat. Ti ka di na. Just like that. Ti ka di na. Here you have. Uh, the, the right hand or the bias side is just doing ti ta ti ta ti ta ti ta because this, this side is just ti ta di na ti ta di na alright so again the, the second half is ti ka di na then ti ka di na ok now let's put it all together the first half da ge ti ka and then the second half, ti ka di na. Right? The first half is the only part with the, the rhythmic delay. The second half is straight as always. Da geti ka ti ka di na. Da geti ka ti ka di na. Geti ka ti ka di na. Da geti ka ti ka di na.
So that's the first mantra that we've learned. Da geti kati kadina. Now the second mantra for this lesson is di da ti ka ti da dina. It's hard to say. It's even hard to say. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Di da ti ka ti da dina. So let's just go through it step by step. It's simple if you break it down. That's the rule with all these mantras. Break it down, then it's simple. Di da. Okay. Di da is again di. Is closed on the small and open on the big. D, da, open both. D, da, okay, that's it. D, da. That's the first two strokes out of eight. You're already quarter of the way there. D, da. And then D, da, ti, ka. That's common in most of these mantras. D, da, ti, ka. D, da, ka. Again, closed and open here. D, da, ti, ka. All right. D, da, ti, ka. That's the first half down. D, da, ti, ka. Now the second half is ti, da, dina. So the first part of that second half is ti, da. All right. Ti, da. And then it goes into dina. All right. Dina again. Ti, and then na, which is open. Ta. Ti da dina. Again, ti da dina. That's it. Put the first two, the first half and the second half together. You get the whole mantra. Ti da ti ka ti da dina. 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 So the first, let's review the first month that we went over. Da geti ka ti ka dina. And then the second mantra. Di da ti ka ti da dina. That second mantra is actually pretty cool because in the second mantra. We have in the daya side a very regular rhythmic pattern. What that does is when you're playing it, let's say you're playing this mantra in a Harinam setting or a march or parade or ratiyat or something like that, then it keeps a very steady marching rhythm. it very regular all right it keeps it very regular and very focused as we go down the, the go down the street and chant that's what this is really good for okay so these two mantras you can use as drop-in replacements wherever you use kiaherba so i'll just do a very short demonstration with Hare krishna maha mantra Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama
So there you go. Two new variations of kaherva. With these two new ones, you can add a little spice and variety to your kirtans. If you want to learn more, experiment a little bit. Keep it within the same pattern of eight beats and add a few things. There's so many things you can do. So since there's so many infinite things you can do with Kaherva, I just showed you two. Let's not try to be so rigid though. Try to experiment a little bit. Or if you're playing with more advanced people in a Kirtan, try to pick up what they're doing. And... Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully you'll learn more and more new varieties. And if you have any requests for other ones, please let me know in the comments or in, uh, in the YouTube messages. Uh, I, I appreciate your feedback and welcome any kind of criticism or suggestions you may have. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Hare Krishna.